Welcome back to P2. Today we are looking at intersections of straight lines and circles, unit 2.3. Now, it's not too difficult to really kind of think about, but if you take a circle and then I take a straight line, which I'm just going to pop on here. Now, this straight line can miss the circle completely it can touch the circle in one place it could be here in this case or that side and then it could cross the circle in two places which is everywhere in between okay and here's just a very quick example well, not example, but uh, diagram just showing you one point of intersection, two points of intersection, no points of intersection. Those are our only three options when we look at straight lines and circles. Now, other than that, there's nothing much more to it. You know, if you want to look at finding points of intersection, you've got to make the equation of the circle equal to the equation of the straight line. Now, since the equation of the circle is with x squareds and y squareds, what you'd always do is always substitute the straight line into the circle. Nice and easy. Now, there's a couple of other points to be aware of. Once you have substituted them in, if you get a question that says, you know, where you've got an unknown, but it says there are two distinct roots, then you need to remember that b squared minus 4ac greater than 0 will give you the two distinct roots. b squared minus 4ac equal in 0 will give you the one repeated root. And b squared minus 4ac less than 0 would give you zero roots. Okay, so these are what you want to remember when you come to problem solving within this type of questions where you have an unknown often k but you have an unknown where the extra piece of information it gives you is that there's two distinct roots there's one repeated root or there are no roots so it gives you that bit of information to tell you which of these to use and you will use this after substituting the straight line into the equation of the circle. Now let's look at an example. So here we have y equals x plus 5. And it meets the circle which is x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 29. Find the points of intersection. So we want to substitute this equation of a straight line into the equation of the circle. Now, I can eliminate either x or y. You know, I can do it very, very easily by swapping this around and make it x equals y minus 5. Okay? Now, obviously I'm not going to in this case, but in some cases it might be easier to do it that way around. But in this case, it's not. So x squared plus, now instead of y, we put x plus 5. And then we still have the minus 2 squared equals 29. x squared plus, now x plus 3 squared is now inside my brackets. So we get x squared plus. Now expanding my squared bracket is easy. So I square the first x squared I double the product, the product is x times 3, which is 3x, doubled is 6x, and I square the last. Okay, and then we've got 2x squared plus 6x, and then when I take away 29, I end up with negative 20. All of these are even numbers, so let's divide by 2. And then this looks like something that will factorize nicely as in a 2 and a 5 make 10 and 2 and a 5 I can use to make 3. 
So we get our X, we want a plus five take away two. So our coordinates are, or X coordinate anyway, is X minus five and X equals two. I then wanna find the Y coordinate. So I substitute this into the equation of the straight line, because that's obviously the easiest one to use. So when X is minus five, so we get Y equals minus five plus five, is zero and when x is 2 y equals 2 plus 5 which is 7 so my coordinates are minus 5 0 and 2 7 okay and I need to make sure I finish with the full coordinate I have seen several times when people get to the x values and then forget to find the corresponding y values so second example here show that this straight line does not meet the circle so the first step is always to substitute our straight line into our circle okay because that's the approach for finding the intersection now x plus 2 squared plus now we've got x minus 7 squared equals 33. So that's one way of doing this and solving it. Um, I could have rearranged the y as well. Um, but in this case, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it in terms of x. So x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus x squared minus 14x plus 49 equals 33. So you can see here we have 2x squared. 4x take away 14x is minus 10x. 4 plus 49 is 53. Take away 33 will give me 20. All even numbers so divide by 2 to make my life or your life easier. Now, at this point, if we were finding points of intersection, we would solve. But we're not trying to find points of intersection. We're trying to prove that it doesn't meet the circle. So we've got to essentially prove that we cannot solve this quadratic equation. Now, to do that, we need to look at b squared minus 4ac being less than 0. OK, so there's a few ways you can go about do it. But, you know, I like to put a statement, a sentence in. Something like that it doesn't really matter. So B squared minus 4AC equals. Now B is minus 5. A is 1 and C is 10. So we've got 25 minus 40, which is negative 15. So now we've shown that it does not hit the line. So therefore, my b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. So no point of intersection. I don't really need to put this bottom bit in since I'd kind of already put it here as well as my statement. So really, it doesn't need to be in there twice. Now, as always, um, I'm going to give you a few to try yourself. And the answers will be at the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if there's anything that you don't understand, just leave us a, a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Do try and do, I do try and reply to all my comments within about 24 hours for most of them, 48 hours for the rest. Um, but it's not always possible, but that is what I do try to do. So this will meet the x axis at y equals zero. So that's all I want to do is substitute y equals zero into this equation.
So what we need to do here is take our equation and substitute it straight into the equation of the circle. That will eliminate, in this case, it'll eliminate the y's, give us an equation in terms of x to solve, and then we can find the y coordinates afterwards. So first we need to make sure we substitute y equals kx into the equation of the circle. That will give us values of x but also in terms of k. Once we've done that then this is an inequality so we are looking at using b squared minus 4ac. And it should be greater than 0 because it's two distinct points. Now, in terms of part B, we want the range of values possible. So we've got to use our inequality. And then we need to solve it. Now, if I look at my critical values first, that's going to give me that k is minus 0 0.24. 
and the other value is k is minus 1.76. So if you think of how that would look in terms of a sketch, minus 0 0.24 is here, minus 1.76, and it's a positive k squared graph. So this is minus 0 0.24 and minus 1.76. And we want below zero. So below zero is this part just so in between these values. So for k, we want in between 0 0.24, negative, I should say, and negative 1.76.